Hi, I'm Gray and welcome to our next review. Today's review is going to cover a healthy snack subscription box called Earthbox. This is a monthly subscription for healthy snacks that piqued my interest because it had a gluten-free focused type of plan. So let's talk a little bit more about it. With Earthbox being a monthly subscription box, there are different types of tiers that you can consider when you are ordering your box. There are different types of sizes that range from mini to large. For review purposes, I ended up ordering the large box, which includes over 27 full-size snacks, and I'll be able to show you everything that I received inside in just a moment. For review purposes, as I did choose the large box with the gluten-free snacks, that cost me about a little over $40 because I ended up getting a first time order discount. That's my helpful tip for you guys. If you are considering trying out subscription boxes and you're not entirely sure if you want to keep up with them, try them out because oftentimes all these services are going to have at least $10 off of their subscription. If it's a pricier subscription, then I can guarantee you, you may end up getting a percentage off rather than just dollar amounts. In this case, because the box values at about $49.99, I ended up getting $10 off, obviously with tax included. So it was around 40 something dollars that I did pay for this particular box. And I'll be able to show you all the items that I got and we'll talk about my likes, my dislikes, about my experience with Earthbox. All right, so this is the large gluten-free subscription from Earthbox. As you can see, it's quite full. You can see my muscle flexing a little bit because it is quite heavy. Uh, there is a mixture of uh, granola bars. There's some drinks in there too. There's teas. Uh, I see a little cake up in there. So I have it set up everything so I can take my picture for my blog, but I'll be able to go over each and, and every item that is included here. Um, and we'll be able to, to distinguish that each and every one of these items is indeed gluten-free. So for those of you with celiac disease who are more worried about cross-contamination, I'll be able to point out that the items in this box do in fact have the gluten certified stamp on them. So let me put this box down and I'll be able to cover all the items that are included. I'll also do a quick count to see if we indeed do have 27 delicious items in this box. All right, so let's get started. One of the large items that I immediately see in the box is this. It looks like these are mini meringues. Um, Tidbits, I believe is the brand name. It does say it is gluten-free and it is it's certified. As long as, as long as items do include that gluten-free stamp, then I would personally feel safe consuming them because if you're looking at the ingredients alone, there's always a chance that they're going to be manufactured at a company or warehouse, wherever it is they may be, that contains cross-contamination. So again, if you have celiac disease or you know very, very hardcore gluten intolerance, then I would stay away from items that do not actually say that they're gluten-free unless they're like fruit, then you know there's no gluten. But use your best judgment. In this case, this does have the stamp of approval. It does say that it is gluten-free. And these are vanilla meringues. Those are quite cute. I feel like if you are baking and you just want a little bit of a topper of meringue, then that would be cute. Or if you just want to consume it on its own, then you know, you do you. <laughs> All right, so we have three total. So keep count because we'll see if that actually is taken into consideration for the total of 27 items. Because it's my impression that if you're ordering a box of 27 snacks, then you would assume that you would have 27 different snacks. So let's see, let's, let's see what you're about, Earthbox. All right, next item. All right, next item on our list. This is a very adorable bag. It is superfood popcorn and cheesy. I love it. I, 
I'm trying to limit how much dairy I'm consuming, but never in my life will I ever give up cheese. I don't care what it does to me, I will always consume cheese. <laughs> and cheesy popcorn's my favorite! So I do look forward to trying this one. <laughs> so here is number two. Next up on the list, we have ginger chews. I have a feeling with my green screen, this is going to disappear almost completely. But these are ginger chews. It looks like it is a hard candy. And this is gluten-free. Let me double check on the other one too. There it is. Let's see. Vegan on GMO, that doesn't actually confirm that it's gluten-free though. It's corn. I mean, it's corn. Popcorn is not going to be gluten containing. All right, next item on the list is we actually have again, two of wild skipjack tuna, mayonnaise and chives sandwich ready. I can't really consume mayonnaise products right now. Um, just do some dietary things I'm going through right now, but I mean, this is, this is good. And I do have other people in my household who could enjoy it, so. Next up on our list, we have something that looks chocolatey, cocoa dusted Amazon prunes. There you go. And let's check the back here. 100 calories per serving, good source of fiber, awesome. Awesome. With prunes, obviously they, they are not wheat containing, but you always wanna make sure, just in case if it says anything. So because it is prunes, I'm not too concerned. I know what prunes are. I wouldn't expect them to contain any gluten, but for those who are very strict, on what they are consuming and if they, it's something pre-packaged and you need it to say gluten-free, I'd still consume it, but if you want to pass on it, then you know that's, that's up to you. Next on the list, Pacific Foods, a brand I am very, very familiar with because I always get my bone broths, my chicken stocks, my beef broths from this company. So this is actually, this is just good to to drink. Bone broth is very good for you. Uh, it has a lot of good health benefits. So this is like a single serving bone broth, traditional sipping broth uh, with chicken, uh, turmeric, ginger, and black pepper. So this honestly is something you would consume. I've been seeing a lot of food bloggers lately um, loving on the bone broth and I'm sure it's not a new thing, but just, just something that I'm noticing and they tend to drink it warm. So I've never really had bone broth on its own, so I mean, I, I'll give it a try. If it's good for you, I'll have it. Again, bone broth, there is no indication that it is gluten-free. However, again, I have trusted this brand. I have not had any side effects to anything that they have produced in terms of their stocks, their broths. It's just good old natural stuff. So I trust this brand and I do give it my stamp of approval uh, for those following a gluten-free diet. But again, I'm not a doctor. Do what you think is right for you. All right, next up on the list, we do have a total of four packets of organic whole wild berries. And I am not sure if these are It looks like we have whole wild blueberries and fruit blends. It looks like cherries, cranberries, and blueberries over here. These are dried fruit. We have both the wild, the um, we have the fruit blend and the wild blueberry. Looks like these are 100 calories per pack. These are gluten-free and vegan, and this one actually does specify it. Oftentimes, if you are seeing prepackaged foods like this, um, if especially if there are any gummies, you wanna make sure that they are gluten-free as well. Alrighty, next up on the list, we have three bags of crunchions. Crunchions? Crunchy onions? 
Oh, oh my gosh, I knew it. There's sour cream and onion, baked, not fried, red lentil snack crisps. It kind of, it's like a healthy version of uh, Funyuns, right? I'll definitely have to give these uh, a try. But this is indeed gluten-free certified. You can see in the corner here. So if you have celiac disease and are being careful, you are certainly safe to consume this. Uh, it's also plant protein. So no, no animal products in this, which is fantastic. And again, three of these. Next up, Oscree, Oscree, coconut dark chocolate vegan bars. They kind of, from my very gentle squeeze, it's kind of like a, like a candy bar type of thing, but it's coconut covered in dark chocolate. It is gluten-free listed on the top here. It is 280 calories per one bar and we have two. We have another type of bar and we have multiples of. We have two of the Julie bar. It's cacao maca, healthy energy, earthy energy, sorry. And, okay, so this one is not gluten-free certified. However, the ingredients, where the heck are the ingredients? Okay, made with gluten-free plant-based ingredients, but it does make a note that it's manufactured in a facility and on shared equipment that also processes peanuts, eggs, milk, soy, fish, marine collagen, and other tree nuts. So again, just in case there's ever chance of cross-contamination, if you have a reaction for whatever reason, there's a very slight chance of it and they are legally obligated to mention that on their products. But it, on the actual ingredient list, on the bottom here, under the, the little label, you do get the uh, entire ingredient list and it does say that it's made with gluten-free plant-based ingredients. So if you wanna go off of that, then you're perfectly good to go and you're in luck because you got two of them. All right, so just like many healthy subscription boxes I found, I do like to take a moment and say that they do like to mix um, you know, fun, tasty snacks, but they're also going to stick in some plant-based protein powders. Four Sigmatic is the brand. It is gluten-free, soy-free, no gums or fillers. It's a dietary supplement. Um, I probably will not be consuming this one just because I am not very interested in dietary supplements aside from what I am being asked to take by my doctor. So this one I'm going to have to pass on, but I'm not too disappointed just because of the volume of everything else that we've received. Continuing on through the box, we have another energy bar and this one is a coconut almond bar. Maybe crispy, maybe a little soft. It looks like gluten-free roll though. It's nice, it's our oat bar. Brown rice syrup, sunflower seeds, unrefined cane sugar, crisps. Um, let's see, we have 230 calories per bar. And this one does indicate that it is gluten-free. There you go. We have a couple more bars left, but again, you can see that for how much I paid, I just keep digging. There's still more stuff and I haven't even gotten to the drinks. Yes, the drinks. So next up we have a brand that I think everyone is pretty familiar with. The Kind Bars. I did not realize that they were gluten-free or maybe some are, but this one is gluten-free and it's my favorite flavor, peanut butter. So I'm very excited uh, to have this one, especially after a nice long walk on the weekend. Nothing better to munch on than a little Kind Bar. All right, last bar before we get to the drinks. This one is a pick-me-up. Oh, hold on. It's an espresso bar. I like that. It's 160 calories, snacks with perks, Java up. Oh, I may, I may have to consume that with a cup of coffee, you know, get going with all the caffeine. Uh, so it's an organic espresso in every bar. Uh, perk up with an invigorating mix of organic artisan roasted espresso, dark chocolate, rolled oats, sunflower seeds, and almonds. When it says rolled oats, you wanna be careful. You wanna make sure that they are gluten-free. Let's check if we can get an indicator of that. Interesting, I may actually have to pass on this one because this says it includes rolled oats, dark chocolate, RSPO palm fruit oil, cocoa, lactose, soy, lectin, 
chicory root fiber, soy nuggets, isolated soy protein, tapioca starch. See, it does not specifically say that it's gluten-free, unfortunately. And rolled oats I have to be careful with. So unfortunately, this is one that I actually cannot consume uh, without knowing if the oats are gluten-free, so. All right, moving on to the drinks. So we have a variety of bottle drinks, canned drinks, and teas. So let's start off with the packet ones. I have a sugar-free chocolate drink mix, vegan-friendly, made with premium cocoa, and it is indeed gluten-free. This one is here. So it looks like it is a, a single serving. You can mix it in eight ounces of milk or any type of alternative. If you're gonna be making this and you can consume dairy, just mix it with milk, please. For the love of God, don't mix it with water. I don't understand why people do that. Maybe it's a European thing, I don't know, but I don't know. But moving on, moving on. Moving on, we have tea. This one is really cute. At first I thought it was a turtle, but it's actually a camel. Tea pigs, great taste. One biodegradable tea, sa tea temple, nice green tea with mint. Definitely gluten-free. There you go. Tea is awesome. Uh, brew three to five minutes, single serving. You gotta pack it in there, good to go. So what's really nice is when you're getting a lot of these snack boxes, oftentimes you may end up getting like a soda or my favorite, I think I got like bottled, no, water in a carton or something like that. It was, that one, that was a strange one. I didn't enjoy it, but this one has a nice variety because you're not only getting like the protein powders and stuff, but you're getting a nice variety. You got some tea, you got a chocolate drink, and next up, if you have cake ups, you have Bare Organics, Organic Natural Tea Blend, Cool Peel Recycle. So I'm guessing, I think this is a K-Cup, 2.0 compatible, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it is for K-Cups. We don't have a Keurig, but you know, if I know anyone, any friends that may have a Keurig, I'll just pass this on to them, all right. We have two items remaining before we talk about our likes and dislikes about this box and just first impressions overall. Next drink we have is, ooh, 10 calories. It boosts immunity as a pomegranate geranium botanical water. Kind of reminds me of like smart water. It looks like it is tinted. There you go. 10 calories, eight fluids. So it's 20 calories actually, because there's two servings and this, this is 16 ounces, 16.9 fluid ounces, 500 milliliters. But again, it is gluten-free. Although I wouldn't really expect gluten to be in this, but you know, you'll have to have your stamp of approval. Here's the gluten-free marking for you. Here it is. All right. Last item is canned. It's probably going to disappear with the green screen, but it is agua bucha. Like kombucha. Kombucha infused sparkling water, key lime, four calories per can and one gram of sugar. And let's see if we have our stamp of approval. All right, it looks like this one has B vitamins, organic acids, made with single source green tea, artificial, no artificial ingredients, no alcohol, no preservatives. Again, we're not expecting any to be included here. Uh, sparkling water, organic kombucha, filtered water, organic cane sugar, organic kombucha culture, organic single source green tea, and organic key lime flavor. Again, nothing that would be containing gluten, so. That's our last item. All right, so we've took a look at what was actually inside the box. I took a moment to count everything that we have and individual items, we have certainly over 27. But when I counted the types of different items, we had less than 20. So in my mind, the way that I have received snack boxes before there is definitely a variety when something says you're going to have 11 plus snacks then they're going to have a variety it's sort of like if you spent the money for a subscription box and you ended up getting 27 of the same thing would you feel happy with the purchase that you made 
Not really, because these subscription boxes are exciting every month that you get them because you get a variety. You are introduced to brands you've never heard of and maybe you get to expand your flavor palette a little bit. Whatever reason you end up getting these boxes is obviously your own thing. But in my, in my case for review purposes, I like to see if there's actually a variety. So I signed up for the large gluten-free subscription box from Earthbox and I received you know, certainly more than 20 items that are included in the box that are different than the rest. Yes, some had repeats, the dried berries, the meringues, and the, the lentil crisps, the um, sour cream and onion ones. So if you have a family, then yeah, you can say, okay, one for each of the kids. Or if you really like them, then awesome. The fact that I have three large packets of mini meringues, I personally don't know when I'm going to consume all of it. Luckily, that type of stuff is able to sit out okay as long as it hasn't been opened and the meringue actually doesn't dry out completely. But I'm not, I'm not entirely sure that I would actually get this box again. Um, I did only try the gluten-free. If you don't have to follow a gluten-free diet, Check out the classic that they also include, or vegan or diet. So to give you a brief description, classic is basically just fair game snacks. They're still healthy, but they're not going to be restricted by any type of dietary limitations such as dairy-free, gluten-free, plant-based, all of that. Vegan, obviously, as the vegan diet is, no plant, um, no dairy, and no animal products, meaning majority, if not all, is going to be plant-based. If you are more on the diet track and want reduced calories, then the diet pack is going to be right for you. Again, this is just one experience of Earthbox, and in my opinion, I don't think I'm going to go with it again, just because when you sign up for a large box and you spend that money, you're kind of expecting a little bit more of, more of a variety, I would say, and then one thing that really put me off was that uh, Java bar. I was very, very excited about it, but because it said rolled oats and I am very careful with the oats that I consume, I only have to have the ones that say gluten-free and nowhere on that bar did I see anything that indicated as such. It had rolled oats on there, but in general, if you're still working with oats, you wanna make sure that it says gluten-free. So that was a little off-putting for me, unfortunately. If you do not have any dietary restrictions, I would recommend you check out this box because again, like all subscription boxes, all subscription snack boxes specifically, you're gonna have a variety of snacks. If you are wanting to use this as a stocking stuffer during the holidays to um, give some people snacks or to have snacks on hand if people come over, uh, you know, with everyone getting vaccinated nowadays or maybe in an office as the office is starting to open up if you have a subscription coming in every month you can restock the snack room i i honestly don't know it's been a while since i've been in an office but that's one way that you can look at it or instead of getting the large box seeing that there are some repeats in this you may want to hold off on getting that size regardless of which diet you are wanting to subscribe to with this box you can start off with the mini that one is $19.99, just for standard. It may include a couple more dollars per uh, the type of diet you're doing, but I think it's based off of the classic. So $19.99 for one box, and that's seven plus snacks. So that's a, that's a good handful of snacks if you're looking at the retail value of everything. Seven, you may be breaking even, honestly, depending on what you're getting, but... That's kind of where I'm at with this box. It was cool to experience. I've waited a little bit of time for it to actually get to me because they do ship out the boxes at a certain time during the month and I actually ended up ordering it a couple days too late. So I ended up getting it the following month. So again, decent experience. I'm not really wowed with it, but if you want to check it out, if you're looking for some new snacks, 
make sure you are signing up for the first time so you can get that discount. If you don't know where to find the discount, generally it's gonna show up as a pop-up um, when you are on the website. So take a look at it and let me know if you tried it. Let me know if you tried any of the other boxes, the, the classic vegan diet. Have you found similarities with what I have found? But yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think. All right, well, that was our review of Earthbox the monthly subscription box. And for this case, we had a large box full of gluten-free snacks, mostly. And we went over what was in the box, our thoughts about it, the pricing, and our recommendations. Not exactly one that I'm super thrilled about, but hey, I tried it and now I can tell you what I thought about it. If you enjoyed my review, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you've considered trying this service, if you tried it, what were your thoughts, what were your experiences, I'd love to hear what you think. And as always, don't forget to check out my blog as well, grayeyes.me, I'll have all the links below. Every week I post recipe reviews and I will be switching some things up in the month of June, so keep an eye on that. We're gonna have a lot more videos, a lot more reviews, and we are gonna have a lot more fun. So thank you so much for hanging out and watching this video and don't forget to stay gray amazing. Bye bye.